Hey guys, how's it going? So this is going to be one of hopefully uh, four more videos on how to get rifted set pieces without using rifted turrets. So we're going to start with Ancient Mines so that we can get our Primitive Helmet, which Primitive Set makes it so that once you have the complete set, you can put down rifted defenses that are in the fifth slot so we're going to be getting it for our apprentice so that is going to be the dsts will be rifted so let's get on into it okay so here we are in mass survival rifted this is actually a relatively easy build um it's pretty similar to what i would have done in massacre anyway so let's just start off with some dsts we're going to face most of them to the right because that's where almost everything comes from. So let's just make a line going to the right. All right, so now we got three and then two of them are going to go to the left. Got to make sure you stack them close enough so you can get the buff beam in between them. And this last one, since you don't really need more than two in that direction. Let's get this in tight. This one is also going to go to the right. All right. Now we are done with that. So let's get to our beam EV. Yes, that is the beam EV. Drop a beam right in the middle. We're going to try and keep this at four. So see and four let's make sure we got it on everything it looks like we did if you want to check you can just hit e and you can see that under general there's armor and that is how you'll know if you got it or not okay so now we're going to drop our auras so we're going to get them as close to the crystal as possible because we're going to be buffing them from the crystal so we're going to do an ensnare and we're gonna do an electric. And then for traps, we're gonna do an inferno and a gas. Those are all just stacked around top of each other. It's hard to upgrade them, but you shouldn't have to repair them or anything, so it shouldn't be a big deal. All right, now our beam EV, we're also going to put a beam on these just to make them a little bit bigger, give them a little more damage, just in general, make them a little bit better. Okay, now we can switch this beam over to wall EV. And we are gonna put wall right here. And we're gonna go all the way to five. And we do wanna give it room so that uh, dark elves go around it because then it won't take as much damage. Okay, and now we're gonna put some reflex right here so that nothing hits these DSTs. Nothing really should be coming from this side, but just in case and then we're gonna put another reflect right here and we're gonna make this one two just because we can all right so that right there should be good now let's switch this over uh, we're gonna put our boost monk he's not really a boost monk though I threw all of my extra um, threw all my extra stats into vitality because not boosting in this situation this one is just here for the gemstone you see right here, the striking gemstone. This one's at 91%. It's good enough. Um, we're just trying to get the auras to be bigger and to get the traps to be bigger. So that's what we need. So let's upgrade some things a little bit. We're going to upgrade this twice. And let's see. I should have upgraded this before I put these reflex in. Let's get this up all the way. Should be able to do these twice. Okay, that one should be okay. This this wall is actually one of the more important things. This wall goes down, you're gonna have a little bit of trouble. So this, this beam is not as important to upgrade, but you can upgrade after this next wave if you would like, or you can just throw them into the DSTs. So that's it, That that's the entire build. It works all the way, the only thing it works all the way to 25. 
So the left side though, should handle itself. The DSTs will kill everything unless a rifted ogre comes. Then you are going to need to shoot it as well. And from this way, you're going to need to shoot the ogres, the rifted ogres, if they make it to the wall, which it should come right at the end. So you'll have nothing else to shoot anyway. And the copters that are going to be coming from right up here. Those copters, the DSTs will handle wave 23. Um, you are going to need to help on wave 24 and 25. Um, if you can, just drop them off the cliff. It's easy. They die real quick. Now, because we are not using rifted DSTs or anything, you need to make sure you have a rifted weapon so that you can kill all the dark elves that come. They should just basically run right to you and should be all around you. So that's why I put the extra points into my health for the monk. And yeah, that's it. You just kill those. Try not to shoot the sirens because the sirens will hit you and knock you off. And then once you get knocked off, it's almost impossible to get back onto the crystal, depending on how many dark elves are there. All right, so that's how to do this completely solo. You can also do this with a group. So with a group, it makes it easier. So all you need is you need a monk over here that is tower boosting. All he's got to do is tower boost. And then he can help shoot things if he wants. Easy. Same thing with an apprentice. You get an apprentice here, just tower boosting. That's it. Um, they don't need speedy gemstones. If they have a speedy gemstone, it'll help. If they don't, then oh well. Uh, this build will work solo, and it doesn't get that much more difficult the more people you add. So you can do this with one, two, three, or four. It's There is not going to be a point where it really hurts you. Um, as long as they're buffing these towers and you have a striking on these auras and these traps, you should be good. Um, with more people, if you don't have a large health pool on your monk, you might want to sit here on your squire and let the other people kill the dark elves. That's the only suggestion I would give if you if you just don't have a monk that is that's high enough health to live sitting here because you will get hit a little bit from the dark elves they'll jump up on top of the crystal and hit you and things like that so you will be taking a little bit of damage so you're going to need to pay attention to that too while you're shooting things that are in the air um, but you will be getting your primitive helmet from here and you'll also be getting the guard gloves uh, these are just from the last time i did it but the primitive helmet this one isn't great. You're going to want one that has all four stats. The level upgrades isn't that big when you're just trying to get the full set. If you're just trying to get the full set so that you can actually use the DSTs, um, I would just try and get all four defensive stats or at least power range rate. So this is why we're doing this for, these, for the primitive helm, but you also get the guard gloves, which is for tower two so let's see it'd be lightning on your monk and uh, lightning on your monk <laughs> and then it'd be inferno on your uh huntress so that's that's a good thing to keep in mind but the big thing is you want the primitive set for your tower five get tower five you get rifted dsts every single map becomes easier once you have the rifted DSTs, they will shoot the Dark Elves, and then you no longer have to kill all the Dark Elves. So, And they'll also do more damage to the rifted enemies that are on the map in general. So this becomes a walk in the park once you have rifted DSTs. So hope you liked the video. Hope it was helpful. Uh, I will be making guides for the rest of the primitive set. So... Make sure to follow and subscribe so that you can get notified when those videos come out. And uh, thanks for watching.